Hey everybody, we recovered some of our honor in the last episode. Welcome back. It was going really bad, and then um, it w went better. We, we had a great run to finish it off. Not exactly the most, you know, we didn't turn the meta on its head or whatever, but still. Um, let me tell you, there is a, uh, a big Super Auto Pets update today. Let me give you the patch notes. Give me a moment here. <clears throat> I have it up. Okay. Added sound and audio control. Unrollable animals can now appear in the achievement list. I don't really know what that means. I guess like um, bees and spawned crickets and rams. Abandoning too many games dewards you with an abandon hat, and abandon hat players only play against other abandon hats. Honestly, about to be like a, a cage match with a steel chair. It's just gonna be non-stop uh, abandon cues. Like, I love the idea that you have to play harder players when you abandon too much. Like, oh, you you thought it was fun to quit until you got like antfish mosquito? Well, guess what? Now you're only going up against antfish mosquito. Now this is the big one. You start at 10 lives. On tier one, you lose one life per loss. On tier two, you lose two. On tier three, you lose three. So it's, I think it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment period, but that's fine. I also think that what that means is that scaling has more of a chance to work. Um, like you can, in particular, like a duck might benefit from this because you can lose early, lose one tenth of your life. Who cares if it lets you do better in the mid game? For now, though, I don't think it changes this. And I don't think it changes this too much. If anything, the beaver is probably better because we have a little bit more room to scale. Um, you can auto-pick your name now for some reason, but... Uh, I oh, unwashed legs! What? I, I deserve to be cursed. I deserve to be cursed. I had the unwashed legs, the, the ultimate me team name, and I and I opted against it. What's, what's wrong with me, man? We draw these? Hey, Tony, Tony, Tony. What do, uh, uh, what's up, hot dog? Um, okay, so you know what? I mean, I think we have an obligation to... You're, the, a a 2 one ant dies the same as a 3-2 ant in most situations. But it can kill a slightly stronger unit. That's true. But for now, I'd rather have a 2-3. Give me this to uh, a 3-2. And then you know what? Freeze me a duck. I was not being facetious. I think that this could actually make an impact for us. I think that, that that if you think you're... What the heck is this, man? <laughs> ants and bees. Ants and bees. Gonna get me some ants and bees. I think we certainly lose this, but that's fine. We lose one because we're still on tier one. We go down to nine HP. It's gonna, it, it's gonna blow up the meta. I, I think it's gonna... Like, I actually think it's a really positive change. Um, I think it's gonna enable... Holy bursh. <laughs> I think you could you could play a two four giraffe maybe. Roll me once. Sell me because a swan is freaking sweet, man. And a four five swan is getting even sweeter. We'll think about probably next turn. You you could try a dodo. We want to buff our swan because it's the most likely unit to stick around. Now we're in double damage territory. We'll take two if we lose rounds. But still, I, I think that this is going to be a positive change for the game. Because some of the animals that I really placed poorly on our, uh, on our tier list are actually going to be a little bit more viable now. Like a leopard with time to scale, time to get to level two, time to put a tiger behind it, all of a sudden could be like, could be kind of a bop, honestly. So I think we sell our beaver, and then we basically just take a chance. If this hits the... Alright, well, it didn't. <laughs> so we could have taken the ant to level 2 instead. You know what, though? I'm not feeling too stupid about it. Let's put our uh, goose up at the freaking front, and let's get this dodo uh, buffed. And I'm okay rolling a 4-squad Marty. It's a great time to be able to freeze a snail, quite frankly. I'll, I'll add an otter and... Well, well... Eh. I think the otter, really, its efficacy is mostly provided early, but... So we got a 9-7 goose up at the front. Wait, no, 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 no! We got a 13-7 goose up at the front. I think we probably lose this. Double Dodo. Dodo Cascade is a new meta. Um, it's uh, it, it works similar to Crab. You pass a bunch of attack forward. 
I, it, weirdly enough, it's not actually why we lost that one. We just, you know, their, their dodos were pretty stacked, quite frankly. Roll me. Okay, we need kind of like, um... We need a next level meta, let's put it that way. So the, we know the snail's not long for this world. All of our other stats are pretty good, even the giraffe. I think you... Freeze a pill. Roll. Okay, freeze a swan. The giraffe, I'm not... I mean, I'll freeze it, but I'm not totally sold. I'm actually really dumb. I, I meant to pill to kill you, and then give you permanent melon armor. The, the truth of the matter is that it's still totally fine. We'll just do it next turn instead. And now that we got tier threes, these these lives really matter. Because we're like, uh, these rounds really matter. Because we are taking three damage per? Yeah. This is scary, man. Two level two horses. Everything I've said about horses, you know, you got me ashamed of my words and my deeds. Look at this. We're actually going to lose the horses. That's going to take us to, I don't even know, like four HP? Whatever, I'm used to it. So basically, we, we can't lose yet. We got two losses to go until things get really... Or until we lose for real. So I don't think we're going to invest in a giraffe. But I do think we can at least freeze a turtle. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind adding a level 2 turtle into this. And then not... Ah, well, you know what? I would still roll a pill if we, if we got a level 2 turtle quickly. I don't love any of this. I don't know what we're fishing for, which is part of the problem. <laughs> Just something I like, I guess. Okay, now that that seems like the kind of thing that could really turn the game on its head. Um, I feel like you might be able to make a kangaroo work here, but I'm going to roll... I don't see a fish, man. I just I just don't see it working, which means we should probably dump it. But for round six, we're not doing too bad, honestly. Like, I, I, I know we're losing, but the, the squad is actually okay. We don't have any long-term scaling, which is the real problem. But we're, we're definitely going to wipe this team. That wasn't a problem. We, we definitely can get rid of fish and giraffe. Could you, with a swan so close to leveling up, do you think it's possible right now you could dump a fish, buy a worm, we're on round seven? I would say let's, I mean, garlic is pretty good. Let, let's add garlic, we, we get a plus one, plus one out of it. A bunny is really nice. A swan is great scaling. Okay. Then sell me, buy me. This worm now becomes like what we pin our hopes and dreams on. And that's okay, honestly. That's okay. Remember that the dodo still only pushes forward one. So for now, I like this. I think we'll keep an apple around. An apple with a worm is basically a pear. Although a pear would be a pear plus an apple. So you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, deer, like it crushes melon armor. Ah, but only once we have it. So there's that. Um, this is, this is pretty bad. Never mind, it's totally fine. We win these. Okay, that takes us to three wins. Technically six lives lost, but that's okay. <laughs> I think, I think we do a double feed here real quick. Because I'm not attached to our squad, I definitely think you could roll a can. Um, but I'd like to... Fish for something a little better. Like, you, I, I, I'm recognizing fully, like, we're spending a lot on rolls here. I'd rather give you plus two, plus two, than plus one, plus one. We'll get that next time. We probably will not roll a can then. And we, we should be moving... This is just a genuine misplay. We should be moving the worm up in our, uh, in our power rankings here a little bit. The math just works here. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. We still got our strongest unit back here. Nothing could go wrong. It would have to be a ram, and it would have to be like a ram with a horse attached to it. That takes us to four. And we're not on lethal. We're, we're minimum two away from lethal. So let's this time do this. Let's this time do this. I, the squirrel is just, in my opinion, unplayable. The dodo is a sometimes food. We're going we're gonna to add it later. None of these appeal to me. I would, I would, oh, I was going to say I'll take a chance on a salad, but no, it's not necessary. Give me one of these now. You go here, you go here. You're going to get sold for a snake in the future. I know, you, here's the thing. 
You know what? I, I disagree with myself. For like two more rounds, I think you let the worm simmer on garlic. Maybe you move the worm to the front. Um, but I'm I'm actu actually absolutely okay with this. Um, although I do think we do lose this one. It's just a very well-placed melon armor against a team that was pretty good. Okay, I think now let's make a, a shrewd decision. The turtle is not doing anything. The, the melon armor is doing everything. Um, let's get this going. Although now we got to figure out where we would want our snake to be, which is fair. I guess you would want it behind the... <laughs> it's a good point. You really want it behind the worm, but you, it's, it's hard to get that going. I guess you let's put it behind the swan for now. It's not ideal. We keep leveling up our dodo because essentially a, a level on our dodo is kind of like we're just waiting for a rooster to come around. And if a rooster does come around, then uh, we'll be very stoked our dodo's level 2 or level 3. I have no idea how this is going to go. I, I hate to see a strong unit with melon armor, but it's okay. We got our own strong unit here. I don't know if it's strong enough. It's a very uh, very common sort of squad we're running into here. We lived through that, which is awesome. We still need to do 15 damage to you here. Okay. Okay, smack him. Let's go. That was that's pretty close. Like we don't have the dream squad, but but five wins here feels pretty good. And we're living longer. It's round eleven. Like things are, are getting a little hot. Hit my worm, please. You peace. Hit my worm, please. You peace. It happens. I'm not pleased with it happening, but it happens. Um, basically, you want to get your snake uh, leveled up. But we also need so much more, like, food. Like, I, I do think that you can probably sell your swan here, though it pains me. Freeze a chocolate. I just wanted to see, like, real meat, but um, that's okay. For now... I'm just gonna add to my worm, but I'm I'm pessimistic. I, th I think we got some we got low sushi rolls there. We got um, I mean, the the cat is worse than the swan right now, but that uh, you know can change. Hold on, did we, did we? I think we lucked out here. This we we should not have been as clean as we are. Like that the rolls in the shop did us really dirty, but at least we got six. So there's some you know honor has been restored to some degree. I guess we're going to invest in this worm. It's, it's a pretty important part of our overall, you know, ecosystem here. Um, of these, you know, you would hope to hit the worm. One day it'll happen. We, we might be reaching a point where a scorpion could possibly survive through two attacks. Not, not this time. <laughs> oh, I, li I like the build that they got here, though. The, the scorpion, like, mid-game tech. That's okay, though. Look at this. Our dodo is doing some work in its own right. That takes us to seven. I'll, I'm willing to admit that some of that seven is probably coming from strength of schedule. But now, I think you accept that a snake getting an extra life can be of extreme importance. To be honest, the worm needs melon armor now. And if we're just going to buy nothing, we might as well be... I, I'm too attached to the big scorpion, man. I, I, we, we, shouldn't, we should lose soon, quite frankly. But a fly dog build. My, my only two cents on this right now is I, I kind of feel like they're trying to have their cake and eat it too. Like, I'm not saying it won't work because the, the dog, you know, is, is pretty strong. I don't think it's going to work, though. <laughs> um, you, you, they kind of were straddling two archetypes there. I bet their hand was forced. Like, they, they saw the fly late and were like, I have to take it, which is fair. It's really good. Might as well keep the, the worm chunk in here. I'm not going to say, you know, like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, if we got in the leopard a little earlier, I would love to give it a try, but... Okay, I mean, you, I think you can think about a rooster for certain. We've got a 38-38 here. I mean, the, the cat is an unsung hero right now. I, I think we've gotten a little lucky just to be alive, but I'll take it. Uh, interesting skunk. What an interesting skunk you got there. 
I am not a full believer in skunk meta, but I certainly find the concept of it very interesting. Um, I would love to see it work, because it's a little weird. Throw me a snake. Unfreeze me? We really want chocolate. More than anything else. I, I think, for sure, I shouldn't have rolled through my tiger last time. Please roll me into snake or chocolate. Okay. One day, a random food will hit our worm. And then, it, it's gonna be a dream come true. Round 16. <clears throat> Alright, so immediately... We, we basically are playing a squad that counters our own, and, and we'll lose. But, straight up, nine wins. That's not so bad for a first try in this new meta. Mm. It gives you a snapshot of your team when you lose, too. That's cool. That's better for screenshots, for sure. Unless your face is in the middle, like mine is right now. Well, I do not dislike this. Holy bursh. I'll take an otter on turn two. Be the inedible mouths. Isn't it ironic? They could eat everything except themselves. Don't hit my ants. Wait, that's a first? New, new patch notes? Your ant is not guaranteed to get hit? The lazy piece is so good. All right. So first loss, you don't sweat that anymore because it's not 25% of your life gone. We pretty much have to do the combine here so that we don't you know, split the defense. I would rather have two ants. Definitely freeze this, though. This is a good four-squad Marty. What we don't want to see is two mosquitoes. Or one mosquito. All right, there's three mosquitoes. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> I think we draw, though. But again, like, a loss now... It's still so early. It's only my second game on the patch. A loss now seems so much less catastrophic, right? Because you're like, oh, instead of losing 50% of my HP, we will buy this. You know, or 25% of my HP, I'm losing, like, you know, less. <laughs> so I'm going to try something a little funky here. I, I'm, you have my word. I will try to make a Hedgehog Blowfish run work just because it's fun. Maybe with more life, it's actually possible to get it to pop. I don't know that that's the case, but... Hey, we stopped the bleeding here. One win, one loss. You could totally... I, I actually think you could fit a dog on this build. The dog could just be like your tanky unit. Which would mean you probably sell your otter, buy a dog, pill the ant, hope it hits the dog. That's the worst thing it could hit, for sure, but that's okay. Now, get. we want to see you get 3 HP as soon as possible. Because that'll let you live through the Hedgehog and we can change our positioning as a result. I don't want to roll an elephant here. I, I think it's counterintuitive. But I, I think an elephant is kind of a, a baddie for us. Even though it could trigger more Blowfish hits. I think we'll, you know, buy, sell a Mosquito. 3 HP, please. Okay, thank you. Buy a Dodo and just stick it up here. Stick it up your yeah, as they say. Um... So you could, if you were confident, you could roll a Hedgehog at the front here. Because everything would live and it might kill things on your opponent's team. I'm just going to level with you. I think this is very stupid and that's why I'm going to do it. We got lives to play with. We only, we would go down to six. No, we go down to seven if we lost this round. I do see that we're going up against some enemies that have less than two HP. I'm not sure it's going to work out for us in the long term. But my Blowfish hits your horse. Hey, hands off my hiney, baby. What is going on? Okay. This this seems like it's gone terribly wrong. <laughs> they summoned things that got great value out of that, but... Okay, we, we gotta try. We gotta try, because it's fun. It's like... It, it's just fun, man. Okay, you want a camel. <clears throat> I think you want an ox, too. So, which would mean at some point we gotta, like, dump our fish. Well, the dodo goes first, because it's a 1-3. But the camel, when it gets hit, will buff the unit behind it. So I definitely think that you can roll a camel that gets hit by your hedgehog and buffs your blowfish. I also feel like if you can... This is so dumb. I, I love it. Because um, <laughs> I want an ox. Because an ox... Sorry, fish. Could not connect to the server. An ox behind the hedgehog means we'll get hit, but then get melon armor. 
And then freeze a pill because it works well with ox. We would freeze, we would, we would probably pill like the camel right now, I guess. I actually sort of feel like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you pill a camel and then buy a camel? I don't know. Actually, I look. Please, please, please. This gives us melon armor and a nice buff, which makes the hedgehog less dangerous. Then give, well, hold on. Give me one of these. Now it's new tech, because check it out. We got a camel with the same stats, although it's further away from where we'd like it to be overall. I don't know, man. Maybe you put the dog at the front here, and then, like, let's, let's give this a try. This is dumb, but I, I really, I'm so, like, pot committed to making this build work at some point, just because it's insane. Okay, their build, like, directly counters ours. Because their, their camel and uh, kangaroo are going to be... Oh, unless our blowfish! Don't hit the camel! Let's go. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. We still, uh, we still lose this? No, we draw. Thank God. Thank God. Okay, keep it going. Keep it going. There's something here, man. Do we uh, garlic on our on our hedgehog? Or no, sorry, garlic on our blowfish. Get your hedgehog even stronger. I know that th this is now bad for our dog. We should really replace the dog with like a another unit, quite frankly. But we need to wait until we get like a, a tank lord. Definitely love, definitely love a lot of this. I, I I'm freezing everything. I don't know what I'm doing. I honestly, two hedgehogs might have been the play. I think this kind of works with a whale too. Okay, this squad is actually like not good for us. Unless we shoot the the the. Uh, that's not what I wanted. But you know what? Hold on. We do really well there. We do really well there. We do okay. Okay, hold on. Yes. Yes. Roll once. I guess, why not? You know, why not? Again, the dog does not have any real reason to exist here. We need camel garlic. Another level on our camel would be pretty sick too. We also want our hedgehog to level up just because it'd be funny. It would just be funny if that happened. I don't know what the heck's going on here. We certainly lose. But... Congrats, like, I, we lost to a meta that we popularized in a way, so it doesn't feel that bad, quite frankly. Level 2, one of these. Okay, now how... A, a 1-up on a Hedgehog might be a play, too, for our future. I'll be straight up, but I don't know. The 6-5, it's like it's kind of working. But I'm also like, what if we just pilled it and then bought, like, an ant? <laughs> Come on, man. That's that's not gonna work. On the other hand, how much li we have four lives left? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe. I mean, this is not probably the way you would build if you wanted to win ten rounds. But if you wanted to really screw up somebody's life, like really, what we're doing at this point is just going. We're running like anti to the meta, and having fun with it in that way. And I think that's worth something, man. Now, we're going to lose this one. <laughs> Which means we're going to be on lethal, right? We're going to have one HP. But hey, one HP is all you need to win. Yes. I can't imagine a snake would really fit here. Although, but you know, technically maybe behind our ox could do something. Um... There's something to be said about, like, a badger, right? Like, what about a badger that gets killed, kills your hedgehog, and then... No, because then it... I don't know, man. It's, like, it's really dumb. On the other hand, that's... The fact that it's dumb is kind of sick. We can can it first. This is not smart. <laughs> You know what, what? Hold on. What do we do to like this? No, because then if we put the hedgehog at the front, okay, it's going to damage the badger but not kill it. But it will remove the melon armor from your ox. Then when the badger died, it would kill your ox. So we have to do it in this order to make the ox work. I would just to get one more win would, would feel like a blessing. 
Honestly, knowing how nasty this squad is and what kind of HP they got going on. I'm not saying we did the right thing, because I think that that's not sensible, but... Maybe we didn't do the wrongest thing. Anyway, we lost. <laughs> but I had fun. Thanks for watching. One day that build is going to take the world by storm. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.